Kraft, you've been on one heck of a hot streak. Let's break them down. Kraft has been on a hot streak of late. They've been releasing great gear. They've been releasing freaking awesome shoes. And one thing I found out, they've been around for 40 years, but they've really only been making shoes for four years. So I have one thing to say to you about 2023, Kraft. You totally redeemed yourself. These shoes are freaking awesome. I have three shoes I'm going to be talking about today. And honestly, I've enjoyed racking up the miles in all of them. Specifically, one shoe that's dropping this month. Might be one of my favorite shoes of 2023. Don't want to give too much away. But I really have enjoyed running in a lot of these shoes. Now, I do want to point out one thing. As a disclaimer, Kraft did send me all of the rad gear and the shoes. But they have no idea what I'm going to say in this video. And they don't get to approve anything before I release it out to the world. This is all my opinion. Now, before I jump into this rad gear, I want you to do one thing for me. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I got some fantastic gear in house that I'm going to be releasing reviews hot and heavy coming your way. So you definitely want to be in the know. So hit the subscribe and you will not be disappointed. Now sit back, relax. Let's talk about some rad gear from Kraft. The first shoe I'm going to talk about is the CTM. This is the first shoe that I've received from them. And this is a Kraft CTM Ultra 3. The names are getting really long here. And I really enjoyed this for one thing and one thing only. It's a gravel shoe. There, This upper, I'm not exaggerating. There is no upper. This is a, a racing flat shoe. Upper on a kind of a really nice kind of somewhat firm but kind of responsive foam and some little bit of lugs so again this is your 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 gravel bike shoe this is the shoe that if you live in a lot of areas and i do i have one area called the penny pack rail trail that is pretty much just gravel and this shoe works perfect for that it just rips through the track gravel i'm not slipping and sliding it works really nice i really like the ud foam they're using here it's probably the firmest of all the foams I'm going to talk about, but I didn't mind it. It's definitely lower to the ground, and you can definitely use this for tempo runs. I'm not busting this shoe out a whole lot, to be honest with you. This is maybe once or twice a week with this shoe if I want to push the pace and I am on gravel roads. It works fine on you know, roads and everything that road to gravel. Do not take this on trails. Don't do it. I'm telling you. I'm warning you right now. Unless you have the world's greatest ankles, yeah, that's... You're going to bust an ankle open. I tried it on somewhat of a technical trail. I'm talking about very light technical. And right away, my ankle is like, uh-uh, not happening. Let's go, Cody. So again, I really like the CTM Ultra for gravel roads. But if you don't have gravel roads for you around you and you don't want to use this for the roads, I can see why you might want to pass on this one. It's a fantastic shoe, but it is a one-trick pony in my opinion. The next shoe I'm going to talk about is the Endurance Trail. I really enjoyed liking, the, really enjoyed running in this shoe. Um, this foam, it takes a little bit of a while for this open. I think it's the PX foam. Once it get breaks in though, it's really nice. This is again a road to trail shoe. I think you put use it on slightly technical. I wouldn't use it on super technical or super rocky trails. It does have a better heel counter than the other shoe I talked about. But again, for the most part, it's not... It's, it's a high stack, and it's definitely a high drop. I think this is an 8 millimeter, even 10 millimeter drop, which I'm not a huge fan of. For a trail shoe, I want to stay anywhere between 4 to 6. The most I want to go to is 8. Anything over that, it just feels a little overkill. Um, I, again, I really like this PX foam. The lugs are not that aggressive. You're going to notice that right here. This is definitely that perfect road to trail shoe, and it does a really good job on the roads. I, did, I have some runs here where I do from roads to trails, and this thing works perfectly on it. I did take it out on some technical trails, and I didn't love it. I kind of ripped my shoe apart. You can see it right there. I, I left a chunk out there. This was really rocky, really rooty terrain that I was rocking on. I just wanted to see if this thing could handle it. Again, I found this to be a joy on the road to trails, slightly technical trails, buffed out trails. This thing is freaking awesome. Super gnarly technical trails. 
keep moving. I don't think this is the shoe for you. But again, if you are looking for that road to trout shoe, definitely keep in mind, this shoe is really nice. This uh, is a gusset of tongue, and I love a gusset of tongue. It fits really nicely. I had no issues with the lockdown on this shoe. I cinched it up and I ran and I kind of forgot the shoe was on. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of dig the colors. Not a huge fan of purple, but it definitely the subtle color in this, this like orangey kind of brownish, definitely does the job for me. But overall, <clears throat> this shoe is really nice for those roadie trails, the slightly technical trails. Now, both of those shoes were my first taste of craft of 2023 and they were like the ctm 3 ultra was like a little bit of an appetizer and then the endurance trial was like oh this is a little this is like chicken wings that i'm eating and then they brought the entree in for me and i'm talking about this is the nord light ultra this shoe's freaking awesome it's awesome it's high stack super wide so it's not it, <laughs> it's a really stable shoe it really is and honestly this cr foam so nice underfoot it i'm telling you i love running on the roads in this on the beach in this on the trails with it you name the terrain this shoe handled it like a freaking champ again I, I had no expectations for these shoes i heard a lot of the craft pros being like <coughs> keep looking we're getting good shoes we're getting good shoes we're getting good shoes and i was like mm -hmm, sure you are craft sure you are and now this is it the nord light ultra is the shoe for me this is that shoe craft sent me and I put it on my feet right away, and my feet were like, ooh, we like this. Super breathable, nice lockdown, and the foam is freaking awesome. The one thing I don't like about this shoe, <coughs> no gusset of the tongue. Come on, give me a gusset of the tongue. I love a gusset of the tongue. I know they wanted to keep the weight down, but a gusset of the tongue just really locks it in. I had no real major issues with the tongue. I just like a gusset of the tongue. It's kind of like a, a baby in their blanket. They just need that, that kind of safety net, and I need that safety net. The one thing I do want to point out, if you have a super narrow foot, keep in mind, this might get some bunching. This has a lot of materials here. I have a slightly wide foot, no issues at all. And again, this tread, <coughs> it's not that aggressive. This is definitely not your super technical, rocky, rooty train. If you're going out on some gnarly trails, this shoe might not be the one for you, but a road to trail to slightly technical, to like moderate technical, uh, in my opinion, this shoe can work really nicely. I, I will say a lot of people are going to be like 40 millimeters in the feel. That's crazy. It doesn't feel that way. It really doesn't. And the drop is really short. I think it's like a six millimeter or four millimeter. It's not a big drop. You can transition really well. I actually used this as a shakeout run when I was in Kyoga, the, the 50K up in Ithaca. So if you've ever been on that course or seen pictures of it, it's definitely Rocky Rudy, not the most technical, but a lot of steps. And this thing was really, really nice. This is definitely the shoe where I got and I was like, I see you craft. I see what you are doing. So there you have it. Those are the three shoes from craft that I am crushing on. Again, I think they just released three bangers of shoes. Now they do have other shoes. These are the ones that I've tried. These are the ones that craft sent me. And you're probably wondering, well, they're all really road to trail shoes. So which one would you pick? So the first one I'm going to say is if you don't really live in gravel road and you're not looking for a slightly firmer shoe, I think you can kick out the CTM uh, Ultra 3. Not a bad shoe, but it is a one trick pony. If you're trying to save a little cheddar, maybe you could drop this one out. Then you really are left with two shoes. And it's really interesting. I feel like they kind of both answer the same requests that they're looking for. They're both road to trail shoes. They're definitely both higher stack. <coughs> they're really meant for that comfort ride. Um, honestly, I think it comes down to preference. It really does. This one's a little bit firmer. This one's a little bit squishier. This one has, I would say, probably a little bit more structure to the upper. Has a little bit of toe box, not toe box, but like a little bumper right there to kind of protect you. And this is like wide open. This is like a road upper on a trail shoe. Um, I do think it really comes down to preference. I think you can't go wrong with either one of them. But again, if you're saying, Cody, I got to pick. I only got enough money for one shoe. I, I'm honestly giving it to the Norlite Ultra, hands down. I've talked to a couple other tr tr craft pros too. And this is the one they're telling me, <laughs> yeah, that's the one right there. That's the one I want. I even think uh, David Laney rocked this shoe, different color at UTMB last year. 
Um, so again, this is a shoe that a lot of pros are reaching for. And I think you're going to see it in a lot of starting lineups from that craft team. And honestly, a lot of people that I'm seeing locally too, they've all been asking me, when's the shoe getting out? When can I get it on my foot? One of my buddies actually just did a backyard kind of race. And this was the shoe he grabbed because it's going to be a long time on your feet. You want that cush and it's just super comfortable. Well, there you have it. Those are some of the rad gears and the rad shoes that Kraft has released in 2023. Definitely keep your eyes out for the channel. I think more shoes are coming. The speed, the Nordlight speed, cannot wait to get that on my feet. That is their road kind of critical foam, kind of their super shoe. I can't wait to get that there. So you definitely want to make sure you're subscribing to the channel. If you want to see more rad reviews like this one, until next time, I'll see you all on the run.